Hello everyone, this is Anton and in this video I want to go over a question that was asked of me in the comments where someone wanted to see how to set up the sync on the Books Air 3C. Now it's pretty easy, all you need to do is I'm in, my, in the notes area here and I'm just clicking on these three lines then I'm going to do sync options and in sync options you have a few different things that you can configure in here but one of them in order to get it to sync to something like Google Drive or or uh, OneDrive then you need to do the export to other apps and you will click on that accounts button there and within here you will have this bind account button where you just click on this and this will give you the list of things that you can set up a connection to now the Google Drive is no different than any other uh, connection with the Google Drive account is that typically it will open up a web page like you have here it will show an account and then you just go through the authentication process and then you will be sent back into the actual uh, configuration here to show that it has been bound to that particular service so here you can see that I have the OneDrive and Google Drive here. Also you can see here where I have a, a minus sign on the Google Drive one. That's because in the Google Drive one I've turned off the enable note sync. So it will not automatically sync to this particular service now that I have it set up in here. Now you can do this here and set it to not sync in lieu of not deleting or unbinding it completely so I still have it connected and having it connected is still good because if you go into your let's say your library here what you can do within the library is that because you already authenticated yourself with that Google account or your OneDrive account or one of the other ones you can come into the cloud there and you can see that those connections are shown here as well so with that in, uh, enabled I can come in here and I can go to my Google Drive or my OneDrive and I can select documents out of there and put into my library. Now back to the, the notes section here. If we come back out, as mentioned, it's pretty easy to set this up and get this to sync. So there's not really too much to it. One good thing that is here being able to connect up these other services to be able to sync is that you can actually turn off the Onyx account syncing so that you're not syncing any of your information to their servers. So you can sync all your notes just to the service that you enable to sync to like OneDrive or, or the Google Drive. But now that you have that set up and ready to sync, all you have to do is when you come in here and you create a note, what you'll see is that I'll just create a note here using the default naming convention here and let's just we'll just scribble something on this particular page and what will happen if you want to sync this is either you can hit the sync button that's right here and do a manual sync so I will actually go ahead and do this we see it turns into a little circle there and then uh, you have a checkbox which shows that it's synced. Now, if I come in here and let's say I do some more edits to this particular document and I want it sync, instead of manually uh, selecting it here, I can also just go out of that note and what will happen is it will sync in the background. So now you can see there's at the top, there's two notifications that this has been synced. You can see that the note has been synced to OneDrive here, which is the one that I have bound and that I have set to sync externally um, from the book's device. And that's really all, all to it. You can now go to either OneDrive or Google Drive into the folder that you've set it up to uh, sync into, which would be, it will create an Onyx folder so just look for an onyx folder and yeah it it's pretty easy straightforward the only thing is that you either have to manually sync it here or go out of the note 
it will not automatically sync like um, say every five minutes or after so many changes I haven't found a way that you can set it up to sync that way so it does it automatically so you will have to uh, think about if you do want something to sync before you close up shop on say this particular device um, just go out of it or manually hit the sync and it will sync to the cloud which is pretty useful if you have say a bigger device and then maybe a smaller device that you take with you on the go all right so that's it for this particular video if you like the video don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and until the next time have a nice day